I want to go back to something you said about you don't really know what it's like in, until you do it, talking about the Sweet 16, going deeper in the tournament. What is it like? Like, what are those runs like? How do you put those into your own words? You played on some of the best teams in the country, multiple mm -hmm. number one teams. Like, what are those kind of runs like? They're special, number one, because um, it's hard to do. Um, I think it's when everybody comes together um, to meet a common goal, that's what makes something like that possible. You know, if you have guys who, are, who aren't putting the team first, that's where things get a little, you know, a little bit tougher. But when everybody comes together, like, I know it sounds cliche. Like, a lot of, a lot of people probably say this, but it's so true. Like, when everybody comes together and puts the team first, everybody, everybody rises. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're winning, everybody's going to get recognized no yeah. matter what. You could be a role player playing 12 minutes a game. If you come in and make an impact, you're going to be talked about, but you got to win. So I, that's something that Penny's talked about, and I'm sure you've heard him say it already, just about being a team and having a similar mindset and a similar goal. As someone who's a veteran, who's experienced, who's been there, done that, like how do you continue to help build that culture here? I'm just trying to be the best version of myself, Yeah. number one, because you know that's how I can kind of bring other guys along with me. Um, I was never really a vocal type of person um, as a basketball player. I was more so like a a lead by example type of guy. Mm -hmm. But you know, as I've um, as my career has gone on, you know, I've learned to I've grown a lot in that area of being vocal and actually talking to guys. Like I don't really I don't really know most of the players now at Memphis um, when I when I got here on Monday. But I was still trying to be super vocal in practice. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's tough for a lot of basketball players, I feel like, especially young guys coming in. It's hard for them to be vocal. And that's, you know, that's an area I feel like I've really grown in. And that's an area I needed to grow in and, and that I'm trying, like, really trying to grow in. You know what I'm saying? So talk to me about what that transition is like, like going from the lead by example to a vocal leader. Because a lot of guys, you come in early, you're freshman, 18, 19 years old. You got older guys on the roster. They're kind of the ones that are the leaders. And so you kind of take a back seat and say, I'll lead by example. I'll show that, you know, I work this way or whatever. So when was the transition and how did it kind of happen between, all right, I'm going to go from lead by example to I'm going to be vocal and make sure everybody's kind of in the same in the same path and in the same line? Oh, that's a good question. I think. It's definitely been a process. Like, you know, each year I've gotten a lot better in that area. You know, I'm just trying to continually grow. But I think it comes with experience, you know. It comes with you playing with a veteran team as a young guy in the beginning and then being that older guy on a young team, right? you know, and having a, to coach those guys up and bring those guys along with you.